Hello there, today we'll be doing a lowest common ancestor of a BST. So this is a binary search tree, which means that um, everything, you can eliminate half the results when um, you eliminate, when you, when you move down the root of the tree. Um, so what does that mean? So that means, let me just make this a little bit better. Um, whoops, that's not how we do Okay, I think that looks a little bit better now. Okay, so we have this particular tree here, as you can see. And um, what, we, what we're looking at is that a uh, binary search tree is that once you go down this particular path, we know that we're going to look see everything that's less than six. On the other side, we'll see if we go down this path, everything will be bigger than six. So uh, if we're looking for the lowest common ancestor, um, suppose that we're looking for two and eight, right? The lowest common ancestor is um, between this tree here, it's less than six, and it's greater than six. So this splitting point is uh, where we have, this is the lowest common ancestor. Now let's try um, something smaller. Let's try three and five. Of course, we can see from our perspective um, is that um, three and five, the lowest common ancestor is four. But um, so so what, what, how do we go find that? So if both P, uh, P and Q is less than six, well, we then, um, this, this is um, a common ancestor, but it's not the lowest common ancestor because we can go left and we could see um, if uh, this is a, a more, if there's a lower common ancestor. So looking at two, it's a common ancestor of two, four, and three, two, four, and five. But we see that um, if we go deeper, uh, is it is it the splitting point between three and five? Well, it's not um, because it is. Uh, we can still it's there. It's less than um, three and less than five, so we should go right. So eliminating half the results two and zero, and eliminating six, seven, eight, and nine, we're left with four, three, and five. So um, with four, three, and five, uh, what we see here is. Is this a split? Is this the point of splitting between three and five? If it is, then that's uh, the lowest common ancestor because that's um, where we can split um, these items. This is where the split happens, and we cannot uh, find a five on this side of the tree, nor can we find a three on this side of the tree. So this is the lowest common ancestor. So, like I, so lowest LCA is where the um, root splits between um, P and Q. Another thing we need to check is uh, if they're equal, right? So if this is this is the four is still the lowest common ancestor. Uh, it's split between P and Q, split uh, or equal between. P and Q, and that's our answer. So let's let's uh, check this out. So um, let's set cur to equal to root, and let's move cur. So while cur, we can move if um, both items. So if cur dot val is less than uh, p dot val, and cur dot val is less than q dot val, that means um, this current value is less than uh, both of these, so we need to go right uh, to get closer to that split. So uh, cur equals cur dot right. Else if cur dot value is greater than uh, p dot val and cur dot val is greater than q dot val, what is going to happen is that um, say this is six, right, and we're looking at um, four and five. So we need to go left because uh, current value is greater than both of these values. Um, but we need to find that splitting point. So we need a smaller item, which is two. So cur equals cur dot left. 
so we can find that slip uh, so once that happens we have found the splitting point so we can return cur and that's all for this particular problem let's run it and submit perfect and that's how we solve the lowest common ancestor. So the concepts here that we need to learn is a binary search tree, what that actually means for us, and how the elimination of half the results um, can bring us closer to the splitting point uh, between um, our P and Q nodes, and um, that the splitting point uh, between um, the P and Q must be the lowest common ancestor because uh, if we went to the right side of the split, we cannot find the left side, the P, or if we went to the left side, we cannot find what's on the right side, the Q. And that's uh, how we know that that's the lowest common ancestor, and that's how we seek for the lowest common ancestor. Well, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.